Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and in this Angular video tutorial we will learn about the group routing. So these are the points of my video. Yes guys, one more thing. I will just continue my last video uh, in this video because last video is actually directly related to, related to the group routing. So in this in the previous video we learned about the routing module and yes, I will just uh, give you the recap of uh, my previous video also. And if you just want to uh, take a deep dive in the routing module, then you can watch my previous video also, right? So first of all, we will just check out our previous video and uh, then we will make a one more module and we will make the route for it. And then I will just tell you that uh, how we can make the group routing and what is the importance of it, right? So this is a very important video uh, if you just want to learn the lazy loading in my next video right so these three video my previous video and current video in the next video are uh, interrelated so uh, because the three videos we cannot convert uh, cover in the single video that's why just uh, it divided in the three part so first of all let's look out the my uh, code of the previous video so in the previous video we made a admin module and here we define the two component also and also one define the admin routing right admin routing module we will just add here uh, uh, two routes and uh, then uh, we will just import the admin module.ts file in the app module.ts file here you can see that right and we are able to achieve the uh, routing right and why a uh, previous video is important because in this video we learned that how we can just make a, a routes inside a single module like we just make the route inside only the admin module so let's say we have one more module like uh, user then we will add the users route inside the user module right so we will also make the one more user route so that you can just uh, get more in the detail and if you have the two module then you will get it very easily right so now why we uh, need the group routing so group routing is means then uh, let's say we have uh, uh, admin part so we just want to show the admin route like here like admin then login and admin then list right and if you have a user module and we want to visit the user pages then we will create the user list like this and user login and all right and the reason behind is that uh, let's say i just want to make a admin login now right so now just remove this link admin login so now you can see that this is my login for the admin but if i'm just going to uh, visit the user login page then the route link will be the same right because i cannot identify this is the admin login or this is the user login and all so basically in the group routing we, act we actually do that we will add here admin and user or basically you can say that the module name uh, inside the route also right so now let's get started so now i am just going to uh, make one more module let's say this ng g4 generate m4 module and module name let's say user and minus minus routing right so we got that and now let's create the two more component inside it like ng g4 generate user and login right let's say we have the same uh, routing for the uh, same mo uh, component for the login and uh, for the list right like this so now you can understand it better that uh, we have actually the same thing in uh, uh, routes inside the or you can say that the component inside the admin and the user like then how we can identify this route so that's why we have to put here module name here right so for that we actually do uh, uh, we will just group the route uh, after a moment but first of all let's make the route for uh, uh, you can say that uh, user right so just simply add here routes so just import here import something from and login and here you can put the uh, login component so just write here login component it's great and similarly just import something from list and list component so just put here 
list component and uh, to just save our time you can just uh, copy this thing or you can say that the uh, router routes here to here because the both are the same thing right and now let's uh, just import this user dot module dot ts inside the root module which is the app dot module dot ts right so just okay let's yeah that's fine import something from user uh, uh it should be user then user module and just import here user module and register inside the imported modules just right here mm, user module that's great now um, now let's uh, just open the console for a moment right and just refresh it right so let's remove it and just click on a uh, login now you can see that login is working fine and uh, this is also working fine you can see that uh, uh, list so we are not able to identify that these pages are belong to the admin or the user so what you can do that so let's go to the admin or uh, users list and just put here a h1 tag like h1 tag and just add here um, user list page right similarly let's uh, just put it here and add here user login page now let's go for the admin so just write here admin list page as well as just go to the login and just put here admin login page right come here again just uh, refresh it and now you can see that admin pages are working but how we can open the user here because we have only one route here even we can use open the um you can say that the admin or the user so that we will use the grouping right then how we can do the grouping for that uh first of all let's uh, open the admin uh, routing file here right and uh, just write here one more path and in this path we can just simply write here like uh, admin right and here we have to write here child uh, we have to add here comma and just put here children and children have an array and inside it let put your those uh, component route right just make it refresh so that we can just watch it clearly and now whenever just you open it then you can see that we are able to user because on a user level there is a no grouping for the route right but uh, now what we can do let's go to the user routing here let's just make it copy of it so that we can just do it easily right and replace it and we just have to use here user right and now you will find that we are able to not open to uh, you, we are not able to open any kind of route here right because the uh, route should be like this uh, user and uh, then uh, list right but here we have the route only for uh, you can say that uh, here you can just check it out uh, only for the login right which is not available for a moment because we must have to add here user before it or admin before it so now let's uh, go to the app.html.ts file and simply write here uh, admin slash and admin slash right and now we can open these admin routes here here you can see that right because we have the uh, right prefix here 
uh, but uh, for the user route we can also make the another one uh, list like first of all let's add here and put simply like uh, admin pages and all right and now let's just copy and paste it and just write here user pages and just put here user and simply again put here user right like this and uh, let's just remove it let's click on this one login we are able to open here the admin page here you can just write here admin content on all over the page list for it and the login for the user and list for the user so that's all about the group routing if you still have any kind of confusion ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care